हेलो एवरी वन आई एम नितिन नारखेडे जनरल मैनेजर ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी स्ट्रैटेजी एंड इनोवेशन एट विप्रो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट क्लाउड यूसेज इन एंटरप्राइज आई टी एंड वॉट इट टेक्स टू आर्किटेक्ट द क्लाउड क्लाउड एनवायरमेंट दैट इज बेस्ट सुटेड फॉर लार्ज एंटरप्राइजेस एंड द एंटरप्राइजेस दैट यूज आई टी एक्सटेंसिवली Let's look at where the enterprises are today with respect to cloud technology. Most companies recognize the transformational potential of cloud. Cloud is expected to enable IT departments to become more innovative by shifting the focus away from operations and help uh, IT departments deploy business solutions at a rapid pace. Besides increasing the velocity of IT innovation and reducing the cycle time, cloud services will also help enterprises manage their capex and opex better uh, and enable them to effectively address the peaks and valleys in their business activity. Adopting cloud services will also help enterprises future-proof their enterprise architecture because uh, this is a general industry uh, trend today. and that that's the direction where the industry is headed enterprises today have diversity of applications uh, and you know these applications you know run on different platforms many of these applications tend to have you know very specific architectural requirements uh, on the environments that they run on many of the applications may be closely tied to the hardware and software environment they run on a typical example of this would be you know a large package business application uh, that needs a, you know specific uh, hardware and operating system and specific storage to perform at a level uh, you want it to when enterprises look at public cloud services and the cloud providers uh, they largely see you know homogeneous platform and you know one of a kind services in many cases it will be difficult to run existing applications and workloads on the public cloud due to the environmental constraint that may pose and uh, the inflexibility uh, they have in their offering many cloud service providers do tend to prescribe uh you know the architectural patterns for the applications that will run based on their cloud and this is due to the fact that you know some of it is uh, uh you know really the homogeneous environment that they are dealing with while the enterprises may be able to satisfy different architectural and functional needs by going to different providers and uh, looking at different types of service offerings Uh, there is no one provider uh, or one service uh, that will satisfy all the enterprise needs so apart from this divide between the enterprises and uh, the cloud service providers or cloud public cloud services enterprises also have their investments uh, in their on premise infrastructure that they definitely need to protect and leverage many enterprises are doing so by creating the private clouds within the boundaries of their organization uh, to uh, get the most out of their current investments this brings us to the fact that an enterprise will need to create its own cloud reality by evolving an enterprise cloud architecture uh, that's the federation of uh, the internal and external clouds before setting out to define you know cloud adoption roadmap enterprises will need to classify their applications uh, the workloads that they run the environments that they run on such classification will need to consider number of business operational and technical parameters the classification will make the application portfolio